Aymar Navarro, Let's, the local legend, as you said, the king of Spanish freeride. Big options and taking them oh. and hitting hard, but stomping it. That might have also been a knee to the face, but no problem for the muscle nugget. Out of Spain, Aymar Navarro just pinning it through the section. No problem, he's so strong, stomping in a huge one there, just out of our sight, into a double. Oh, Imar not able to hold on to the second one, that was massive. Imar Navarro showing how to do it, big mountain style, but unfortunately not quite able to hold that landing. Imar Navarro, and it will be our next man in out of Valdaran. And Imar always puts on a good show here, 11th last year and 10th the year before. So showing uh, his local knowledge. And always going big, I can tell you. He's known for gnarly lines, and that's what it is. There you right go. There. Look at that oh, double. Oh yeah, wow. Wow. <laughs> awesome. Check this, this out. Look at Ooh. the margin he had to land in. The direction had to be perfect. This is only possible with local knowledge. Sick! Another great air there. Keep up the momentum, my friend. What a great run so far. Well, come, yeah. Solid landings. Fourth place finish, and the local announcers here on site are going absolutely crazy. Of course, the Spaniard from the Pyrenees, Mr. Aymar Navarro. Always good for some spectacular lines, very creative. If you want some proof, just go online and type in the South Lines. Have a look at this double! Yeah, Aymar! Holy crap! I didn't even know if he knew he was going to land that while he was in the air. He put the landing gear down, must have the transceiver on full scene mode. <laughs> I'm an of our pure, pure free rider. Like you said, Southline's really impressive uh, project in South America where he super sends. Taking the same approach here in Japan today. Here going into the NAR. No surprise that he chooses the rider's left side where it gets really steep. And not so far off his, the t terrain he's used to ride from the Pyrenees. Nice. Solid run from Ima. Really creative double up top. Legs of steel from that guy. Okay, well, we're not done yet, and this man has something hot in store for us. Imar Navarro, he's so strong. This is the first time he's been on a face that really suits his style. Go big, go fast. That is his philosophy, and we're going to see it now. Going into an untapped zone, Navarro. What are you doing, my friend? I'm so excited and nervous for this. Coming in the side door to the eagle, I believe, but no, pointing it back into the fall line, down through this insane section, and landing it, Imar Navarro, what is going on? Oh, Imar just blew all of our minds. If you're watching at home, that was absolutely insane. The steepness and the difficulty of this area that he just went through, Imar Navarro showing us why he is who he is, going in a section that nobody else even looked at. Navarro now taking on the canyon gap, making it, but getting sat Whoa. down. No! Oh, damn! you! So disappointing. That is heartbreaking stuff. The Spaniard is just such an idol for the pure big mountain riders out there. Imar Navarro is a wild man. Everywhere we go, he goes full Next throttle. Time. He will find the I'm biggest not, thing on the face. And Imar Navarro on course now, on the back. We're gonna see where he ends up. I can't wait to see him unleash on this face. Do not take your eyes off the screen for this. Had an absolutely incredible running fever run and was unlucky when he lost a ski. We perhaps would have taken the win there, but looks like he's checking out something big. But when he lets go, he's gonna fly. Right off the biggest oh! part into a huge <laughs> double for Navarro. Pinned and catching another piece at the bottom. His run, blink and you miss it. The biggest double on the face. The biggest place you could go and sending it absolutely to the moon. Navarro, look, look how at happy he is. Absolutely going wild, pumping the fists.
That was fantastic. Go big and go home. Ha, ha, ha.